Our favorite verse for today is also one of our most requested verses, and I think you'll see why. It is Psalm 46 and verse 10, and it reads, he says, that's God, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, this little verse here is part of a song written by the sons of Korah, written during a time of chaos. To Israel, it seems as if the world is crumbling around them. Jerusalem is being attacked. It's in that context that God says, I want you to be still and know that I'm God. And again, this is a favorite verse of a lot of folks. And just a casual reading of this, uh, we read it and we think, this is a good reminder that I ought to have my morning quiet time with God, that I ought to have my daily devotional where I just sit, say nothing, and listen for the voice of God. <laughs> well, that's, that's certainly not off base, but it's deeper than that. If you read chapter 46, apocalyptic language is used of war and battle and chaos. In verse 2, the writer says, it's as if the earth is giving way and the mountains are falling into the sea. In verse 6, nations are in an uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. Those are descriptions of war and battle and chaos. That's the context where God says, you be still and know that I am God. Now, it's interesting that those two words translated in the Hebrew as be still, they literally mean to cast down or to let fall. It's a phrase that was used of dropping weapons. The picture is that there's a soldier who's fighting in a battle and suddenly he stops and he unclenches his fist and he lets his hand fall down by his side, that he stops struggling, that he surrenders. And of course, the picture is of a person who suddenly surrenders and allows God to fight. Uh, this is not just a verse as a reminder that you ought to have your quiet time with God. It's actually a rebuke. It's a call to cease and to desist, to surrender and let go. And the idea is that you can't know God until you become still, until you surrender to Him, until you stop striving and fretting and trying to handle everything on your own. You can't know God. Be still and know that I'm God. And notice the last part there, verse 10. He says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The idea is that as we quiet our souls, as we reflect on who God is, we realize that no matter what happens, God will be exalted, that he's working all things out for his glory and for our ultimate good. And so we can trust him. We can turn it over to him. <laughs> I don't know how many of you like me need to hear that. Uh, there are times when I'm fighting battles that I know I couldn't win on my own, and I need to be still and know that He's God. And maybe you need to hear that today as well. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for the fact that we can depend on you, that, Father, when we go up against forces that we know we can't win against, that we need to stop. We need to let go and surrender to you so that we can know who you are. Father, we thank you that the ultimate battle was won by Christ. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.